If we were using and living by the church calendar, today would be New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. A night to look back and remember. A night to look forward and make New Year resolutions. Our uh, three readings on this last day of the church's year remind me of a, a sandwich. The top and the bottom are important, but what's in the middle makes all the difference. Today's psalm. Uh, the top of the sandwich is a continuation of what we heard yesterday. Daniel's visions as he lay in bed. Daniel's nightmares. The four great beasts symbolizing the four great kingdoms that threatened Israel and its way of life. Babylon, today's Iraq. Medea and Persia, today's Iran. And Greece, the great European power all in their turn, mighty and powerful, threatening to overcome tiny Israel. But then reassurance comes from the Ancient One, God himself. It's the Holy Ones of the Most High who will inherit the kingdom forever and ever. Don't be afraid of great kingdoms. And in a way, we celebrated God's kingdom last Sunday. Our preface read, You anointed Jesus Christ as universal king in a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. That's the kingdom Jesus proclaimed. That's the kingdom his church should be working on. And so maybe a new year gives us a chance to resolve to make some contribution to that kingdom of truth and life, holiness and grace, justice, love and peace. That's the top of the sandwich. The bottom of the sandwich, Jesus encouraging us to be on our guard, to be alert, to pray for strength, to keep going, to be his kind of people. And then the meat of the sandwich, I think, today's psalm. Today's psalm taken from Daniel's song in the lion's den. A call on all creation to give glory and praise to the Lord forever. A sense that we humans are a part of a great chorus. A chorus of wild animals and cattle, all people on earth, the people of Israel, the priests of the Lord, the servants of the Lord, the spirits and souls of the righteous. In a few weeks, we'll have a climate conference in Copenhagen. Our climate, our environment are key to our health and well-being. What are we doing about it? We share this planet with all other life forms. Are we doing all we can to make this beautiful blue planet a livable planet. Another year. Who knows what it holds in store for us. So on this New Year's Eve in our church calendar, let's resolve to begin again. And you'll pardon me if I quote an Irish poet, Brendan Kennelly. Begin to the surge of the waking city, 
to familiar streets that are always strange, to words of greeting in the Dublin morning, proving that we have come through again. Blessed with the promise and disappointment that make the minutes of every day, we step into the streets of morning, walking the pavements of come what may. Though we live in a world that thinks of ending, that always seems about to give in, something that will not acknowledge conclusion insists that we forever begin. For those who feel they have nothing to look forward to, we pray to the Lord. Lord for those who will die today and for those they leave behind, we pray to the Lord. Lord for those who are out of work, we pray to the Lord. Lord for those who have requested our prayers, for their intentions and for our intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord God, may our days always begin with you and through you reach completion. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let us pray that our offering of Eucharist today may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Amen. Father, the birth of Christ your Son deepened the Virgin Mother's love for you and increased her holiness. May the humanity of Christ give us courage in our weakness, may it free us from our sins and make our offering acceptable. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Yes. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. Amen. Father, it is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. He is the Word through whom you made the universe, the Savior you sent to redeem us. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh and was born of the Virgin Mary. For our sake, he opened his arms on the cross, he put an end to death and revealed the resurrection. In this, he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. And so we join the angels and the saints in proclaiming your glory. Amen. 